What's shaking, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more VCMG, which is to say Vince Clark and Martin Gore. Uh, shout out once again to Han Solo, not only for making this available to me, but for making me aware of it in the first place, which I hadn't been. Um, and indeed, when I learned that we're like, wait, Vince and Martin, like years after the dissolution of the original uh, configuration of Depeche Mode, they came back together to make music. Now, even when I was thinking that, um, and right up until the first reaction I did for VCMG, uh, I was thinking it was going to be synth pop, maybe like a modernized, you know, post-2000 sort of synth pop sound. Um, but I did not know they had set out to make essentially a techno record together, which I now understand very much, having heard a few of the tunes, that that is the realm that we're in. And, you know, I may have gone into it thinking that, okay, it's going to be kind of like a commercial style techno, maybe some vocals and whatever. It's really not that. It's not like the most like muckraking, you know, avenant uh, underground techno I've ever heard. But it absolutely is like harder. It is on the sort of like more like legit like dance floor techno um, as opposed to like pop, like radio commercial techno. Um, so again, not only... Um, do they make great synth pop? Um, but obviously these guys, you know, if they really want to, can make a legit, like, techno track, too. So, um, yeah, we're going to listen to another one of those. We're up to the next tune, uh, which is Wind Up Robot. So, um, again, without there being, like, proper lyrics, um, I haven't uh, spent too much time talking about the titles, but it makes me think that it might have a sort of, like, factory, sort of, like, really mechanical, electronic kind of buzzing sort of sound, or at least one or two layers that give it that kind of atmosphere. So let's find out. This is VCMG. The tune is Wind Up Robot, and it's from their 2011 album, which is like the white, the sound of white noise, which I'm not going to do an impression of, but it's a bunch of S's, basically. I'm not going to hiss at you, basically. like a very minimal opening to a lot of flavor very quickly. But we have that electric buzzing feel, right? Like conveyor belts, pulleys, like parts moving around. That's what I thought was going to happen. Like a 60 
four, like 128 ago. My cat's sleeping in my hand. So like, you know, if you were mixing out, you'd want to like be ready to go when you get to that last, it felt like it was just a 16. Like normally they'd give you like at least a 32 once you're out of like the main part of the track. But um, yeah, uh, mixing and like DJ considerations aside, uh, it's a really cool tune. Maybe not my favorite. Uh, again, I enjoyed it, but I felt like, you know, it could use a bit beefier of a kick, um, but a cool tune nonetheless. Um, and like I said, uh, it goes to show that, you know, when these guys decide to um, you know, trade in the synth pop sound for a bit of some proper techno. Um, they're more than capable of doing it. So um, I just wish that, you know, maybe this wasn't the only time that they did this or that they come back for a VCMG Roman numeral two, perhaps. Uh, in any case, uh, looking forward to the rest of the album. Once again, shout out to Han Solo for making this available and once again, letting me know that it existed in the first place. So um, yeah, shout out to Vince, shout out to Martin. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>